money and time. A Wichita woman says she lost both thanks to a COVID testing nightmare, a nightmare that lasted days as she was traveling abroad and back. Zach Martin has her warning to fellow travelers looking to take flight. Zach. Emily, Audrey Cordy is a WSU grad student who traveled to Sierra Leone, Africa a couple weeks ago for a fellowship. The trip to West Africa was delayed four days, mostly due to the speed of COVID-19 tests, rather lack thereof, and the problems continued on her way back. I spent the night in the Wichita airport, got up the next morning, and finally got on my flight. I arrived in Freetown around 7.55 p.m., after landing in Sierra Leone on November 21st, Cordy says she was missing luggage and needed more tests done. I had to get two rapid COVID tests in the Freetown airport. For people that haven't traveled to the developing world, you're always going to run into logistical problems. So that process of getting one group of people from one plane tested took five hours. And coming back to the U.S. after her trip was an adventure too. I felt like Tom Hanks in uh, that movie, The Terminal. Oh. <laughs> it was when she was finally able to leave Africa, she hit another roadblock in Belgium. So I had to figure out a way in about five hours to get a new COVID test in Brussels. Um, I found a security agent who I was able to explain the situation to. But if it hadn't been for people trying to help me really go out of their way, I, mean, I honestly think I would be stuck in Brussels right now. Now, finally back in her home in Wichita, Cordy says if you think about traveling abroad, be ready for all sorts of delays. If you have an event that you need to be to on Thursday, I would be leaving on Sunday. I mean, at the latest. And just understand that um, we're not there yet. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're doing and be patient with people. Cordy says she spent more than $1,000 in rebooking and COVID-19 testing expenses, not to mention 100 hours stuck waiting in airports. She says she has no urge to travel outside the United States anytime soon. Here for you, Zach Martin, KSN News 3.